Hi again, this is the time of year for updating your Zoom Guitar Lab. Uh, I think it's getting better for the newer pedals, they're going to allow you to do IRs, which we can't do on the older Zoom pedals, at least we don't know how to do it yet. So I've just downloaded 7.3, I'm on 7.1 at the minute, and that actually was able to do something I didn't think. It could find the FXs I've injected onto the Zoom, but let's just unpack this here, which I think I do right hand click, extract here. And I think that will create the directory when I look inside. Yep. So here it is. We go inside. Uh, guitar setup instructions. Version history. So what's changed? Anything changed? Yeah, I'm using our desktop on my Windows box to the Pi because the Pi can record better. Uh, released is the following bug. In, unable to import multiple Rs. Uh, oh, and there was, an, there was a one in, in the middle. Supports the G11. Uh, some, guitar sometimes does not recognize G11. Internet connection error message. Okay, okay, okay. So that's the major difference. Nothing, nothing to work at home there. So let's double click on this one. And this should start to include it. Or at least it should start to do the business. Yeah, United States, that'll do. Yep, next. Uh, I accept. Yep. Install. Uh, so it should install. Yes, we'll install. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, finding the Guitar Lab is quite hard because it tells you when you run the program, there's a new version. But as ever, it never gives you a link to it. I mean, maybe you shouldn't trust trust links, but I suppose if it's coming from Zoom, they ought to know what they're doing. But when you Google for it, you find some really crappy old version. Now, I'm going to launch this, but it's actually talking to the computer on my left. Let's see whether it sees the G5 that's connected. Oop. Bring that to whatever. So G5 is waking up. G physical G5N rather. Uh, no device found. So normally it has to go off to the internet and check a few things. And sometimes if you go to the news, it's better to do that because it makes it think. Um, and then it will might sometimes see it, but I don't know. Hasn't found it at the minute. Let's just pause this whilst we try and take the cable out and in again. So I'll just pause it. Okay, well, it looks like if you're using remote desktop, at least the version I'm using on the Pi, it won't allow me to show the connection of the Zoom. But here you can see a screen dump. It has connected. And what's interesting is that certainly the previous version, this version, they're able to see the injected so here you can see the acoustic guitar stuff on a G5N, which shouldn't normally happen. And there's a whole load of bass stuff. So that's pretty cool. So sim simply to say that the new version's out, it's a little bit finicky in terms of finding the device, but always is. But it does support the newer models now. So maybe I'll just pause it, go back to the other screen, and take a screen dump of, see if I've got an effect that's got these things in it to show that it can show them on the screen. So give me a second for that. Yeah, and we can see here that the acoustic guitar model is available to be selected as an icon for the drop down. So definitely the 7.3 is working better than the 7.0. I think 7.1 was OK, but this one is showing up the injected effect. So this is a really nice touch from Zoom, whether they know they've done it or not. It now means that if you use the techniques of Munch or myself to inject new models, FX models into your pedal, then you can see them on this uh, on their software and that's really neat plus i noticed there's a backup all pedals a uh, backup all patches so that looks pretty cool anyway simply to say that the new version's out and it does now recognize the in at least the ones i've tested the injected fx's this is pretty cool well done zoom thank you and enjoy bye